The American Heart Association hosted their annual Go Red for Women luncheon event with nearly 700 women in attendance. For 20 years, this event has spread awareness of heart health with the help of guest speakers and educational activities. Our Lydia Herrera was at today's gathering and spoke to several survivors who shared some inspiring stories of survival and determination. Lydia. That's right, Rudy and Leslie. For every 100,000 women in Nueces County, 113 of them will die of a heart disease. Cardiovascular disease affects nearly half of women aged 20 and older. Some of them, like Crystal Aguilar, are affected even earlier in life. You know, having a condition, having heart disease, it, it does change your life a little bit, but it doesn't have to stop you. Crystal Aguilar was born with a heart defect, and it wasn't until she fell and hit her head in middle school that it was finally discovered. They said that I had pulmonary valve stenosis, which is congenital heart disease. And then as I've grown, I have now atrial fibrillation, um, and I received a pacemaker in 2017. Crystal, who's a runner amidst the diagnose, has been a big adjustment, but it's not just one that she's had to make alone. I've learned to adjust, and then family and friends have adjusted with me. At age 42, Lori Cook had a heart attack. After that, she worried her days were numbered. You know, you're so young, this means that you're gonna be um, dying sometime soon. But 21 years later, I'm still here. I'm still surviving. Adriana Martinez, Go Red Luncheon director, says events like these are important so that women can help each other identify symptoms of heart disease. This is the leading cause of death in women, and there has to be a way to uh, to prevent that and to make that uh, a diminished issue in our community, and that's that's our goal. Both Aguilar and Cook say it's important not to ignore symptoms and to get checked regularly. Heart symptoms mimic other things, so don't ignore signs, regardless of what they are. Don't ignore them. The event also featured CPR demonstrations to help advance the Amer American Heart Association's goal of making sure at least one person in each household can perform hands-on CPR. Back to you, Leslie and Rudy.